Hello, my name is Sonia Ross. I'm a psychotherapist, an intuitive messenger, and an author. And welcome to this week's Met Metatron message for June 1st through June 7th. So I'm really happy you're here. Thank you so much for the awesome response to the, the messages from Metatron. I've been getting some really, really lovely feedback and I love doing this type of work. I'm very much in alignment with my my purpose, so I'm here on earth and it utilizes all of my skills as an intuitive, as a psychotherapist, and as a um, psychic medium. Um, even though I'm not really in my psychic medium bag here, but it just definitely uses, utilizes my whole self when I do this work. So I wanna thank everyone who's been so supportive, so encouraging. Um, we just hit over 500 subscribers. So thank you for everybody who's decided to join our little small but mighty channel here. Um, please come back from weekly messages from Metatron and the angels and how they can support us on our divine unfolding. And so uh, this yesterday morning, I think when I was in meditation, I wanted to share something that a wonderful friend told me, and it's about love. You know, uh, we were just talking about our different perspectives, about some of the things that, you know, happen in the world and around us and different things. And my friend, even though she's younger than me in her ageless wisdom, said as it pertains to love, especially romantic love, that we are looking for peace, freedom, and easy love. We are looking for peace, freedom, and easy love. And when she said that to me, I was like, that is a whole word, right? Because we have been so conditioned, um, she and I were having this context in the context of heterosexual women. We have been so conditioned that, and this can go regardless of your sexuality or gender identity, when it comes to romantic love, we have been so conditioned that it has to be fraught with drama and difficulty because that means it really means something. No, 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 no. Uh, as my wise friend said, we are made to love and so love should never be hard. And if it's turning into some type of you know, tragic melodrama, we're out of alignment with who we truly are. And so when my, when my wise friend said this, I just was like, you know what, I'm going to share this on the message um, for this week. I don't know if that'll come up in the cards or whatever, but I feel like we all need to hear that, that we want love that's peaceful, easy, and gives us a feeling of freedom. Let me get her exact wordings right. She said, we want peace, freedom, and easy love. And so I just want to give you that message about love should be filled with peace, ease, and freedom. And I think those of us who grew up in struggling environments, environments that were undernourished or unnourished, or we were neglected or abandoned, were kind of wired to work through difficulty. And so when we track a love relationship, we think, oh, that's just what it has to be. But as we're ascending and moving into a new frequency and vibration, you know, spirit wants us to know struggle love is over. Struggle love is dead, but first it has to end with our mind, right? To put these old patterns of behavior away, it has to first begin in how we think and how we think about what we deserve. And we have to bring that into our heart. And so we have to say to ourselves, you know, it doesn't matter what I saw. It doesn't matter what I experienced when I was younger. It doesn't matter what I experienced as a young adult. I deserve peace, freedom, and easy love. And just let that sit on your heart. And for those people who are trying to call in a new partner, call in a new relationship, shift. Shift to saying that you deserve ease in your love. And it's okay for you to have an easy love. It just flows together. There's not all that crunchiness and that all that, you know, one party can't open up and the other party has all this baggage and stuff like that. We've had enough of those relationships. And as we ascend the frequency and we rise to a higher vibration, we have to begin calling in more of what is most natural to us and more that is a reflection of who we truly are. And that is peace, freedom, and easy love. So I want to thank my beautiful, beautiful friend, because I know she's going to hear this. I want to thank my beautiful, beautiful friend for laying that word on my heart. Because, you know, I'm coming out of these patterns too, right? I'm coming out of these patterns of you know, banging my head against a wall and, you know, dealing with difficult people. Thankfully, I've shifted and I'm no longer in that, sped, that head space where I feel like that is normal and natural. 
but it's a journey for all of us. So I just want to encourage you to just kind of really sit with your heart, maybe get out your rose quartz, get out your rose quartz crystal, put it over your heart chakra and just breathe in and say, I deserve peace, freedom, and easy love. I deserve peace, freedom, and easy love. I deserve peace, freedom, and easy love. And just, you know, sit with that, journal with it, meditate on it, hold it in your heart. And if there's parts of you who are resisting that idea, then engage with those parts. Engage with the parts of you that are resisting those ideas and ask those parts of yourself, why? Why can't we have peace? Why can't we have ease? Why can't we feel have the, a loving relationship that fills us with freedom? Peace, freedom, and easy love. For many of us, I know the majority of the people who watch this video are women, um, you know, we deserve that. We deserve that. And as we go into higher frequencies and things like that, we cannot, we have to heal those blockages in our energy bodies that tell us that difficult and, challenge, difficult and challenging relationships are where it's at. It's not where it's at. That's an old paradigm. And as we move into the new paradigm, we have to be more self-aware. So I just wanted to share that with you. I hope it resonates with somebody, someone, somewhere, whoever listens to it when. Um, so we're going to begin, okay? So the decks we're going to be using today are the Archangel Metatron Self Mastery Oracle. I was guided by spirit to bring out, of course, we're going to use the dragon deck again, the dragon oracle cards by Diane Cooper. We're, going to also, we're also going to use, I was guided to use the Magic of the Unicorns Oracle by Diane Cooper. And again, we're going to be using the Interactive Cards by Tom Holmes. All of this will be linked in the description box below. I do not get paid for this. I'm just trying to share some tools with you that can help you in your unfolding process. Okay, so we're going to begin. We're going to begin first with Archangel Metatron and his message for the week. And so if you're new to these videos, the first, there's seven cards. But one card is not for each day. It's an overall message, an overall message, an overall message. With, but the seventh card is the theme for the reading. Okay, your theme for the week. And then the, I bring in the interactive card. And when I shuffled, I asked Spirit, please show us the part of ourselves that has been exiled and ignored. I said, please show us the side of ourselves that has been exiled and ignored. And so Spirit, we have a card for that. And then I shuffle for the unicorn deck and also the dragon deck. Okay, so we're going to begin. So the first card in the message this week is heart healing. So interesting. I began the message talking about our heart, right? So the first card is 39 green heart healing. And I was just talking about the heart and easy love that we are looking for peace, freedom, and easy love, okay? So green, heart healing. The second card we have is ancestors, appreciation and healing. Again, I was just talking about if we come from environments that were undernourished, we were unnourished, or we were emotionally neglected or mistreated or abused in a certain way, we may have been taught that... Love is difficult and we just have to ride it out. But it says here, ancestors, appreciation in healing. So already the message is starting to formulate around healing. Look how spirit works. And two cards, we've already drawn, turned over two cards and both have the word healing. And this is number 34 in the deck. The next card is dimensional gateway and invitation. Card number 33, and 33 is a master number. Dimensional gateway, an invitation. Beautiful. The next card we have is the tree of life. I think all my cards are upside down. That's interesting. You know, these things happen. Okay. We have the tree of life. Travel on. Okay. We have the tree of life. And so let me say this other thing about the other Metatron readings. I feel like there's stuff in there regardless of when you listen to them. So yeah, they may have the date of 
May 17th through this third, whatever it was that one. But you can go back and listen to those at any time because these messages are timeless. So don't get caught up on the dates because this, I think this card showed up in maybe the first reading I did for Metatron. So there's that. The second card is transformation, light and dark. Mm, look at that. Mm. So the message is already about healing and transformation, okay? Look at that. Okay. The message the the message this week is about healing, pause and receive. And I'm this is the card came up last week. So I said this in the last couple of videos, remember, Archangel Metatron is building on these messages. So these are not message about what should I look for this week or what will happen in my week? This is about a deep, deep healing and transformation process that Archangel Metatron is trying to guide us on. A deep, deep healing and transformation process because certain these cards are coming up over and over again. So these messages are building on each other. So, you know, go back and listen to the other three because they probably have something in there for you. And this card came up in the last reading. And so... This card, these, this deck has 44 cards, but the same cards keep repeating. And for those of us who read cards and work with cards, tarot and oracle, we know that when the card keeps coming up over and over and over again, it's a message for us. It's a message, message for us around our healing, something that needs our attention, that needs to be healed, and something that we're being called on to work through. So it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mm, mm. We're definitely getting an invitation to heal and transform. And the center of the reading is the cup of replenishment. Number 16, this cup has come up. This is my fourth video. I think this is the fourth one, right? Out of three, out of four, this is this card has come up three times. So this card keeps on coming up again and again and again. And so this is Archangel Metatron telling us we have to replenish ourselves and we have to nurture ourselves and we have to drink from the cup of replenishment. So this is so beautiful. So when I shared my message from my wise friend and what she that she laid a word on me, um, and you know, and this is why my this is you know why probably it came back to me in my meditation and I was guided to share it because this message is about healing, it's about healing our heart. It's about healing generational patterns and, and uh, ruptures and difficulties. And the best way to heal these generational patterns and ruptures and things like that is through our own body and our own energy field. It's not getting our mamas and our aunties and our grandmas and our daddies and our uncles and to see the light and you know accept, apologize, this type of thing. Rarely does that happen. Rarely does that happen. I've been I've been a psychotherapist for almost 10 years. I've seen probably over I've spent probably over 7,000 hours talking to clients and having client sessions. People don't do that. They just don't. Because they get very defensive and they did their best at the time and they don't think that they're they're uh did anything wrong. And uh what's the other thing they say? Uh, they don't think they did anything wrong. They were doing their best at the time and they're in a state of denial about their own limitations. And of course their defenses come up, right? They become activated and their child parts go into like shame and they're triggered and they don't want to feel like they're bad people. So they deny, right? So they deny that they may have done something to hurt you. So it's not about them. It's always about us. And we have the ability to heal ourselves on an individual level and in community and in relationship with other people who are on the same energetic vibration. And oftentimes that is not our family and the people who hurt, hurt and wounded us. But Archangel Metatron spirit and spirit have a message here for us about healing and transformation. And we have the ability to do that within ourselves, in our own energy body, in our own chakra system, using the rose quartz, using certain crystals, asking them to transmute and absorb the grief, the pain, the heartbreak of our energy body, whatever the case may be. I use it over my heart a lot. 
and it has to be up to us. And so that's why Archangel Metatron is keep on giving us this message about healing and transformation. And so that's what our theme is this week, drinking from the cup of replenishment so that we can be healed and transformed. Drink from the cup of replenishment so that we can be healed and transformed. So let me just tell you, let's just take a moment and I'll tell you what I'm noticing in the cards. I think I've already shared what I'm noticing, but I'm seeing, I'll see if I see anything else. Yes, you know, again, working with our shadow. Card number 31, transformation. To heal, we have to work with our shadow. We have to work with our shadow. Okay. The heart chakra. We have to work with our heart chakra. We have to work on generally noticing within ourselves in our own mind, heart, and energy body, our energy system, what needs to be healed and transformed in our relationship with our ancestors and generational patterns. There's also an invitation here to walk through the dimensional gateway. Oftentimes when we walk through the dimensional gateway, it can help to put things in perspective. You know, when we're on this path and if we're on a path of more self-awareness so that we can, you know, ascend the frequency, we'll come to understand that these being born into these difficult families and having these difficult relationships and things like that, family relationships, whatever the case may, any other type of relationship, whatever the case may be, is not just because we're put upon and we're victims. On a soul level, our, our soul was willing to undertake some of the most challenging circumstances to see how it could experiment with itself and navigate with itself to grow and know itself on a deeper level through certain trials and tribulations. So even if we had these you know, terrible childhoods and all kinds of mayhem was going on, our soul knew that was going to happen. And the task was to see how, how the soul through the tool and vessel of our personality would work through that issue with complete amnesia of who it really is and its true and and its true identity as an energy being. So that's the secret, right? That's that's what it's all about. So, but when we realize that we are multi multi-dimensional beings, because that's truly who we are, we are all multi-dimensional beings. It doesn't matter your belief system, your politics, your race, your sexuality, your gender identity, your gender. Uh, your your physical ability status, your wealth or lack thereof, we are all multidimensional beings and we are all equal at the true core essence of who we are. And we're all working our way through the tree of life, right? We are all going up and down, up and down, up and down, sideways and across the tree of life. as part of our journey on this earth is to work with the light and the dark. Okay. This is us. This is us as a complete being in human form. We're in the light and we, we are light and we are shadow. All of us are light and shadow. And that's part of the journey. And that's part of the experiment. And that's part of the exploration. The darkness does not need to be banished. It needs to be integrated. We don't have to shame or disavow any part of ourselves. We have to look at it to bring healing to it so it can be integrated into who we truly are. Again, healing, 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 healing. Mm. And Spirit just brought, showed me that the healing card is across from the ancestor card. And the cup of replenishment is right in the center with the infinity symbol over the top. So here we have it, right? Here we have it. Okay. Let's also see what the interactive card is. This was the card from last week. I'm telling y'all, you can't make this up. Look how thick this deck is. 
Look how thick this deck is. This is the interactive deck. Look how thick this deck is. Look. I shuffled and shuffled. I shuffled casino style and I hand over hand shuffled. And I still got the same card that we got last week. So spirit is saying our work with our inner child is not done. The inner child theme has been coming up over and over and over. And so spirit is saying now we're ready to go there. We are ready to go there. And I'm going to assume if you listen to this video that you're looking for some type of healing in your life, right? So um, spirit is saying that we're ready. We're ready to go there. Because the message is about healing and this inner child, this, this card came up last week. And I just said, what did I just say about the repeating cards? So we're ready to go there. Spirit is saying we are ready to go there. We're ready to do this work. Okay. We are ready to do that work. As my hands disappear into my Zoom background, I'm trying to get myself sorted out here. Okay. Okay, so we're going to begin. So we're going to begin with the first card, which is green heart healing. That is card number 39. You see how Archangel Metatron spirit is tuning in? Spirit X. We, this is a very layered message. So I want you to pay attention. Get out your notebooks, okay? Get out your notepads, your writing utensils. Pay attention, pay attention. Because there's a message here and spirit wants you to pay attention. We, the, fact that, the fact that these same cards keep coming up over and over and over again, that's letting us know. So this is not just, what's my the message for the week? No, Archangel Metatron is saying, you are ready. We are ready. We are ready. We are ready to do the important healing work of our inner child. We got the inner child card and we got the ancestors card. So who, what are they talking about? Who and what are they talking about? They're talking about us, okay? They're talking about us. 39, green heart healing. The card with Metatron's green ray of light offers a healing sanctuary for your heart. The green ray revives, restores, recharges, and balances anything it touches, reflecting the ability of green to grant us space to rest and heal. Linked not just to Archangel Metatron, but also to the ray of Archangel Raphael, these two mighty archangels combine their power and light to shine a soothing green light on pain, distress, and heartache. Any wound, whether emotional, spiritual, or physical, can be helped by the balm that the green ray offers. Enter into the holy cathedral of this green ray, and experience a space in which your heart can be free. The diamond, as depicted here, represents your heart, that place where the answers lie, where the wisdom is contained, and this truth that can set you free exists. For green offers freedom, which is why the heart always seeks out the help that it gives. Held in the soft embrace of this space, you can tune into your heart's desire and the depths of your soul and access all that you are and all that you came here to be. Visualize this radiant green diamond glowing within you, feeding your physical body what it needs right now to be stronger and more complete. Then take it deeper into your emotional and spiritual bodies. Allow its healing light to penetrate deep to where it is needed most. The precision with which it can do this is astonishing. Look at the sharp points of the diamond. They are like lasers, able to direct the green energy to wherever it is needed. The heart is also our transmitter. So ask yourself what, so ask yourself what you transmit out into the world. Is it words of love or words of anger? What are you beaming out into the universe? Be aware that whatever you transmit in words, actions, and thoughts 
now comes back to you tenfold, so choose wisely. The heart needs the constant cleansing that the green ray offers. And let me just say something about the heart. And I, Spirit's we, it's been working with me on this this year as well. You know, I've done a lot of healing and personal growth over the last, um, especially the last seven years, I would say, seven years, probably since 2018. I've always been very spiritual, always read spiritual books, always was interested, all that. But I really, really started taking it and embodying it over the last five years. So, but it was only this year. I did a lot about coming into my body, connecting with my body, working through grief, working through traumas, things, different things like that. But it was only this year that I realized I had never specifically worked with my heart. I had never specifically set worked on all the, I call it the muck and the gunk, right? I had never specifically sat with myself, put the rose quartz over my heart, and said, please transmute, please take and transmute all that is in my heart that is not in imperfect line, that is not in perfect alignment with the love of who I am. Please take from my heart and transmute all that is in me, in my heart and energy center that is not in a perfect alignment with the love and the truth of who I really am. And I've been working with this since early February, not because of Valentine. I didn't begin because of Valentine's Day. That's just when I was guided to do it. And I've been working for it, working with it four months. And I can feel a strict difference, a very significant, significant difference. So I'm calling on all of you to work with your heart specifically because we're doing this and we're doing that and we're trying to do this. And try, but no, sit, work with your heart. You don't have to do anything, but bring your crystals to your heart. The ones that are for healing. I would use the rose quartz. I love that crystal. And just ask it, program it, cleanse it. Charge it and program it. And ask it to take all the muck and the gunk from your heart. That it may be absorbed by the crystal transmuted by the crystal and flow out into the world where it will do no harm and and see how your energy body changes and we have to nurture our heart nurturing our heart it has to be done on an energy level it's not just something that's done on a physical level so i just wanted to say that because her words reminded me that the heart needs the constant cleansing that the green ray offers truly Green is a color that is important every day of our life. What does the green ray say to you today? How does it make you feel? Are you at ease with its blessings and gifts? Or do you push this color away? Embrace the healing of the green ray, ray and let it restore you. You are also encouraged to be in nature, in the green forest, in the parks, and in your own garden. Feel the green grass under your feet and the gifts that the natural world offers for recovery growth and renewal, all provided by the green ray linked to earth. So let's just take a moment. Nice long inhale and nice long exhale. And put our hand over our hearts if we're able to. And just say, I am restored. I am restored. I am restored. So let's move on to 34, ancestors, appreciation and healing. So, oh wait, I didn't show you the big, I didn't show you the big picture of the green. I showed you the card, but that's what the big picture looks like. So now we're moving to ancestors. Again, that's this card, right? See the whole line of ancestors in the back. And here we are again, that's the big picture. This is 34. Hmm. Appreciation and healing. 
our ancestors live on through us and within us. Now is, it, now is the time to remember where you have come from and what you may have inherited via your DNA, genetic memories, patterns, behaviors, always remembering that our ancestors did the best they could with what they knew at the time and the circumstances in which they lived their lives. Those on the other side of the veil often stand with us, waiting for forgiveness, acknowledgement, and freedom from pain that they were not able to clear while alive. Freeing them frees us. Healing is not limited to, limited to any one time, place, and event. It affects, its effects are far reaching and cross many realms of existence. So very interesting, right? So the ancestors card is above the dimensionality card. So it's reminding us that as multidimensional beings, when we go to do this work of healing ourselves, we heal through all time and space. And the energy of these healing effects ripple across everything through the multidimensional web. Its effects are far reaching and across many realms of existence. Archangel Metatron, who has been in existence since the earth was created, has seen everything that has happened to you and your family, including members you never met, going back generation after generation. Repetitive issues or circumstances seem to play out again and again in families, poverty, alcoholism, infidelity, broken marriages, failed businesses. We have to heal the ancestors too. And with Metatron's help, you can do this by taking that healing back through the family line and then forward to future generations where DNA has been cleaned and the memories of past challenges replaced by optimistic strands to be planted in new fertile lives. Think about what needs healing in your family line today and bring this to the light for clearing. The image on this card also asks us to acknowledge all the beauty of our ancestral line. You are the product of all of them, a survivor who has their strengths, talents, and gifts. Maybe some of these were unexpressed in your lifetime, but you can do it for them now, and they will always encourage you on. Like the nurse in the 1920s who had no modern medicine to prevent many from dying, but her grandchild is in the present is equipped to heal mind, body, and soul. Or great grandparents who painted and were creative that excuse me, or great grandparents who painted and were creative carried that to the young child who now displays enormous gifts, and everyone wonders where it came from. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So this morning I was thinking of my grandmother my grandmother, who I love so much. And she was a brilliant, brilliant woman, but she was born in 1911. And so she had to just be a wife and a mother. But I know that if she had been in a different time, she could have been a lawyer or a judge or a doctor or anything she wanted to be because she truly was a brilliant woman. And so I was thinking just this morning, this is how spirit works, that like I can live the life she never got to live because I've made different choices. I had more opportunities and I could just decide this is what I want to do, you know? And so I can work in my spiritual abilities. I can be a psychotherapist. I can be a single mother. Um, I can do what I want to do. And I don't have to be resigned to a certain fate just because I'm a woman. So just wanted to bring that out and see how spirit is always listening, always working with us. There is so much ability and help unseen most of the time from the past and from the future. Take a moment to look at this image and see yourself as part of something much bigger than you can ever imagine. These souls are part of your soul group, always there and present if called. Realize too that the ancient figure at the back of the long line may be the new child not cradled in the father's arms. The flow of love between the generations is constantly rebirthing itself and remembering what it is to be human. You 
are able to call on your ancestors at this time to help you, they will they will you on and cheer from afar. You are able to call on your ancestors at this time to help you. They will you on and cheer from afar. So let's just take a couple deep breaths and just feel the message from our ancestors. Feel their love for us, that they're proud of us, even if we never knew them. And that many of their hopes, wishes, and dreams live through us today as our own interests, hobbies, and the things that inspire us. And just breathe this in. A nice long inhale and a nice long exhale. A nice long inhale and a nice long exhale. And the next card we have is 33, right next to it. So interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I swear I shuffle this deck. I swear I do. Dimensional gateway, an invitation. Master number 33 is linked to the crystalline light and higher powers. Drawing this card shows that you are standing at an important place in time on your path of destiny. One that has been created by your own past positive actions, behaviors, and thoughts. You have done much good already, helped many, and supported those who needed it. And this is being acknowledged now. Archangel Metatron offers you a gateway to a new way of being. He is a gatekeeper to many beings of light and ascended masters who appear when called by him. One of the names Metatron is known by is the Grand Orchestrator, and he is able to call on any energy needed by anyone at any time and does so for you now. He has sent one of his angels of light to greet and welcome you, their arms outstretched and hearts open to receive and guide you in. See the light all around this special place, blazing gold and containing wisdom, love, and enlightened space. Step into the gateway and feel the warmth from the flaming torches that purify and cleanse you, ready for your next step. Entering this gate enables you to access all the angelic kingdom that Metatron governs. This is his door and his domain, and it feels like home to you now. You're welcome to come and shelter here a while to rest and recharge before journeying on. Through this gateway, you will find the other end of the rainbow, a pearlescent light with colors so bright your body can only bathe in their wonder, and a host of archangels and angels at Metatron's command, each as important as the other. Here exists no hierarchy. Just receive the one just service to the oneness and energy of love that is all there is. Step forward and reclaim your own angelic magnificence. Mm. I'm going to say that again. Step forward and reclaim your own angelic magnificence, your angel wings bestowed and your body activated by light. Then go, do, be, and serve others. Help, support, and teach those who need this energy right now in your communities, countries, and world. Metatron has called you. His angels await. You are one of his earth angels now. Step through the golden gateway of light and into your own mastery. The time is now, and you are invited. When you leave this place, you do so able to carry more light and love than ever before back to your homes, communities, and the world that needs it. The gateway is in front of you. Step through it now. So take a nice long inhale and ex exhale. And repeat. 
I reclaim my angelic magnificence. I reclaim my angelic magnificence. I reclaim my angelic magnificence. I remember who I am. I remember who I am. I remember who I am. And then just take a nice breath. And there's the card again. And you see a being is waiting to embrace you with open arms. Now we're going to the tree of life. Number 31, excuse me, number 32. Travel on. You have drawn the tree of life card to remind you that life is both a journey from spirit to earth and from earth back to spirit. The, this mission is special, and so are you who walks in its path. There may be times when you feel stuck along life's pathways, yet wherever you are, there are blessings and learnings and exploration to be done. There is no place you are supposed to be and no missed path that you didn't take. All roads converge back at the same point. There are no wrong turns or right turns, just different approaches to the same destination. You will meet others on life's path who seem to be going faster. Do not judge them, since you do not know on what part of the path they started. There is no one in front of you or behind you. The truth is, you are all moving along the same grid lines in different waves and movements. Metatron sits at the top of the tree of life helping you birth and descend and welcoming you when you climb back up. Archangel Sandalphon sits at the bottom, an angelic anchor and compass point from which, the, from which signals are sent out to guide you on. Archangel Sandalphon sits at the bottom, a perfect angelic anchor and compass point from which signals are sent out to guide you on. The trick is to enjoy the journey. See all of it as important, all equally valid. Every experience and person you meet along the way and all that you learn make you the person that you are. Look at the card. Which, which sphere, Sibiroth, speaks to you? Those are the little circles. Sibiroth. Okay. Which sphere, sphere speaks to you? Is it the sphere's color or position on the tree that most strikes you? Feel into this. What does it say to you about this stage of your life experience? Do you feel as though you are working your way up or down? Do you feel you are static or unmoving? Judge none of it. You are where you are and Metatron can see you. You are not lost or forgotten or unable to be seen. The creator's light is shining down upon you, encouraging you to enjoy this journey of life and your time here on this planet. Look again at the card. Seek now the next place on the tree you wish to travel to. What does this represent to you? What are your expectations? And what do you need to experience? Journey on. You are doing well, and all is as it should be. The tree is secure, and so is your place in it. So travel on. Travel on. So nice, take a nice breath and say to yourself, I am secure on my journey. I am where I am supposed to be. I am secure on my journey. I am where I am supposed to be. I am secure on my journey. I am where I am supposed to be. 
And just let that resonate in your heart. And then we're going to 31. So, yes, these cards, some of these cards were back to back, but I put all these cards in the deck in different places. So this is just how spirit works. Because we have 34, 33, 32, and 31. And then we skip to 43 and 16. So spirit is just amazing. So transformation, light, and dark. Transformation, light, and dark. Which figure on this card do you relate to? The dark shadow of your own fear or the empowered, light-filled, divine you? This is a challenging question since in truth, both are aspects of yourself. Within you are both light and shade, illumination and shadow, love and hate, and peace and anxiety. Living in a dualistic world, you have a dualistic nature, and it serves you well to try to integrate and understand all parts of yourself. Remember what I said about integration earlier. Pushing away one shadow doesn't work, whether it appears as jealousy, rage, greed, or spite, or racism, or hatred, or misogyny, or any of the other thousand other things. It's These are all parts of our shadow that we're being called on to heal. So don't be ashamed of it. Just breathe and look at it as an avenue to build self-awareness. And just ask yourself why. Say, just ask yourself why. Instead, you're asked to understand and work through why such feelings arise and where they come from and realize it is usually because of an absence of love. Our shadow also often wants to keep us small, to keep us doing what we know rather than trying something new. It feeds off old patterns that haven't been worked through from panic and low self-esteem to something greater still. If you have done the shadow work, the card then asks you to question which figure you give the most attention to. Transformation happens when we choose the light over our shadow selves and turn like a flower to the sun, the greatest energy source of our planet and life force. The image is a reminder to choose light every day and to move forward and reach for sunlight rather than hide ourselves in darkness. Darkness and shadow can play into ego's hands, playing small, judgment, blame, drama, victim mentality. It takes many forms. However, we are here to shine brightly. We cannot do this from a place of total darkness. The sunlight in the picture brings not just illumination to the one who is free, but illuminates and brings warmth, warmth to the heavier side of ourselves, that we all carry. The stronger and more powerful energy is the light. It can and will escape the clutches of anything that tries to contain it. What is left behind is but an empty shell. And we learn to look back with compassion of what, at what blocked our way and the lessons we learned from our struggle. By doing so, we transform not just ourselves but the darkness too. We learn to live with it but not allow it to control us, to love all parts of ourself and to walk the highest path we can moment by moment, day by day. By doing so, we conquer the battle within and, are allow, and allow our light to win. I'm gonna repeat those last two sentences. We learn to live with it, but not allow it to control us, to love all parts of ourself and to walk the highest path we can, moment to moment, day by day. By doing so, we conquer the battle within and allow our light to win. So, let's just breathe. And let's say, I love my light and my shadow. I love all parts of who I am. I love my light and my shadow. I love all the parts of who I am. I 
I love my light and my shadow. I love all the parts of who I am. And just breathe. And recognize that your wholeness and your completeness exists within you, unbroken and unchanged. You just have to gain access to it through healing of your energetic body and your heart and the attunement to the higher energy of who you are. And then that can flow towards you uninterrupted. Okay. The next card is card 43. Healing, pause to receive. And so here we are. Okay, and here's the bigger image. Stop for a moment and allow yourself to look at what needs healing today in your life. You see how we're just calling on to be healed? Healing, heart healing, healing with the ancestors. Stepping into the dimensional gateway so we can be embraced. Wherever we are in our life is fine. Archangel Metatron and Archangel Sandalfon are supporting us. Healing the light and the shadow and embracing and loving all parts of who we are. Pausing to receive. You see the message, healing, healing, healing. You are asked to be still and open up to the healing power of Archangel Metatron's color rays. His energy is available to you at all times, whenever you ask for it, whether day or night. Visualize yourself being cradled by angelic light that knows exactly where it needs to flow and what it needs to do. This is an intelligent, loving energy that works with your own body and auric field to give you what you need right now. Feel his loving energy flowing in from your crown, higher vibrations of light that soothe, bring comfort, and can transform whatever ails you. Feel it moving down through your spine and your skeletal system, through each chakra point, and to any part of you that needs healing. Let the healing also help you to switch off to rest your mind, and to be taken to another dimensional space where time is suspended and only you matter. See, it's telling us that we can be healed through the interdimensional portal. We can be healed through the interdimensional portal. The angels are here to escort us to the interdimensional portal. Sitting comfortably or lying down, maybe even in meditation, ask, Ar ask Archangel Metatron to place his hands on you, allowing streams of color to flow through you. Color is alive and is a powerful energy. Which color ray do you feel drawn to? Tune into the color ray that you feel you want around you and flowing through you. This chosen color may change as Metatron brings down the rainbow spectrum for you. Recharging, renewing, and revitalizing your physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual body. Realize that you can ask, not just for healing when something is wrong, but can seek color to maintain well-being and prevent discord and illness. Take time to question what you presently do to achieve well-being. Are you eating well? Do you cleanse your aura? Do you release negativity and fear or store it up? Being healed involves many different facets, from changing thought processes or exercise to altering negative habits and circumstances that cause imbalance. Just as Metatron uses many colors to heal, you may need to look at different healing methods and tools to create optimal health, positive affirmations, color therapy, mindfulness, meditation, and rest and relaxation. You also need a genuine desire to change and heal. Allow Metatron to help you find what helps you to maintain your own well-being and commit to looking after yourself as you would anything else you deem important in life. Put your well-being first, not last, on the list of priorities. Pause and be open to receiving Metatron's energy and color rays. Healing is here for you now. 
So let's just take a moment to slow down and breathe in Archangel Metatron's message. And then we place our hand over our heart if we're able. And we say, healing is here for me now. Nice long inhale and exhale. Healing is here for me now. Healing is here for me now. And our last card is card number 16. And I said, as I said pre previously, this is the third time this card has come up. So Archangel Metatron wants us to drink from the cup of replenishment. He wants us to be restored. So don't think that if we go deeper into this healing work of our energy body, our ancestors, um, our light and our shadow, that it's just going to be a depleting experience. It won't be. He is telling us that we have the cup of the replenishment. We have angels. We have spiritual energies across all dimensions who are holding light for us, who want to come forward with our permission. They will answer our call and they will help to heal our bodies. Okay. The cup of replenishment. Are you in touch with your golden state that lies within you? This is the place of divine truth and light where your soul resides. As you prepare for initiation into Archangel Metatron's sacred circle of light, allow any heaviness to dissolve that prevents this. To be in Metatron's presence is to remember your wisdom, your power, and your holiness. No more playing small. You are here to shine and to excel at anything you choose to do. Through adversity, you also can grow and evolve to reach a more enlightened and fruitful place of being. To shine for others and for yourself, that is why you are here. The golden chalice is offered for you to drink from. Its golden nectar renews and revitalizes your whole energetic and auric system, which seeks upgrade to a higher vibration and more light. Reach for this cup when you feel weary or in difficulty. Drinking in its nectar brings sustenance to the cells of your body that need its light to thrive and radiate health and well-being. Gold is given to the one that has earned its reward. The person who has been of loyal spiritual service and yet may be depleted as well. You may need to take some time to rest, recuperate, and recharge at this time. You are one of Metatron's angelic helpers on this earth, and he seeks to honor that through the gift of this special chalice. It is sacred, and so are you. Receive its help now. The gold takes away any fear and any doubts you may have and replaces them with certainty, strength, and centeredness. You feel your solar plexus being replenished by this gold, recharging you to optimum spiritual power and might. The golden light confers protection too. A cocoon of gold surrounds every part of you. You're always safe within it and are able to receive as well as give positive light energy. With Metatron's golden ray bestowed on you today, you are eternally blessed and loved. You are eternally blessed and loved. The infinity symbol on this card reminds you of this union between you and all the angelic beings of light who are with you now and are with you always. An additional meaning of this card is the link to the Ace of Cups in the traditional tarot. Here we see a single cup which also symbolizes true love, particularly if partnered in the spread with card six, love. The golden infinity symbol also links to the soulmate unions and twin flame partnerships. Both are being highlighted at this time and blessed with Metatron's golden ray. The cup here offers communion with another, a meeting of minds, bodies, and souls blessed by spirit. Golden replenishment comes now just when you need it.
Hmm. So just take in the message from Archangel Metatron. And then breathe in a nice long breath. Nice long inhale and exhale. And remember that you are eternally blessed and loved. Take a moment to put your hand over your heart and to breathe in. I am internally blessed and loved. I am internally blessed and loved. I am eternally blessed and loved. Thank you. So we're going to go as we head towards our conclusion and our message for the week. We're going to go see what the dragon oracle has brought to us. Mm. Source dragon attunes you to the infinite. Be still and in the silence, magic can happen. Be in the moment. Beautiful, beautiful color. Look at that orange. Draw into that orange. Beautiful, beautiful. I want you to really see this. Bring it up close. Can you see that? Hmm. Hope that comes out clear. Source dragon attune you to the infinite attunes you to the infinite be still in the silence magic can happen be in the moment so give me a moment to find this dragon because the way she has her book organized it's not very traditional because they're not numbered so uh yes okay so this is a ninth of ninth dimensional dragon energy and i said as i said in the last video one of the viewers was very kind to mention remind me that we are in the year of the dragon and i was guided to buy this deck uh earlier a couple months last month i guess and it's an amazing deck i love it so much and um it's pretty awesome and it's nice and it so it makes sense since we're in the year of the dragon that i got this deck this year and that i've been guided to share a message from the dragons with you a source dragon has come to you now because it is time for you to enjoy a period of stillness with awareness breathe deeply and listen to the silence something very sacred is coming into your life this could be anything from the fru fruition of a long-held dream to becoming a true master it is being presented to you now be diligent calm and focus and remember to breathe deeply breathe breath is the key to being in the present moment. And this is where the greatest magic happens. Ask the source dragon to accompany you on every step of your exciting new journey. And always remember that the present moment creates your future. Let's take a moment to take that in. Okay. Mm. And then the last card we have is the unicorn energy. 27, Ascension Flames, Merge with Light, Ignite Keys and Codes. It's a very, very pretty deck. Merge with the Light, Ignite Keys and Codes. As an essential flame is an etheric fire containing specific keys and codes to accelerate your spiritual journey. There are many of them, and Earth has been created by great beings of light to help humanity now. For example, Quan Yin, beings from Andromeda, and Archangel Chamuel are some of those who have contributed to the pink ascension flame of love. See how love is always present in this reading? When this is placed over you, it ignites the highest forms of love within your energy fields. And I think that's another message has been coming through why we need to do our healing on our inner wounds, inner child, energy body, ancestry, generational patterns and families and things like that, that personal work is so that we can step higher into the truth of our energy body. So that higher forms of love and attunement and connection 
can be activated in our energy field. We cannot step into those energies that we say that we want if we have not done the inner work to heal and to process all that we hold in our mind, bodies, and tissue. And the other thing I'm gonna um, just tell you, all of you about, um, I'm working with a very interesting book and they have a, a card in here. It's not an Oracle deck or a tarot, it's something actually different. It's very interesting. I wanna share that with you before we wrap up because I think it, it'll, it'll be helpful. Okay, here are some of the other flames that are waiting to light you up. The emerald flame of healing, the golden flame of Christ light, the pale green flame of nature, the royal blue flame of higher communication, the aquamarine flame of healing, which heals your soul with love, compassion, and peace, the pale yellow flame of all possibilities, which draws opportunities to you and gives you the wisdom to handle them with grace. Serapis Bay's white ascension flame, which holds all the great knowledge of the golden age of Atlantis and, and, and can help you access the talents you had at that time. When you draw this card, consider which of the ascension flames you need and then invoke it. When you have received its energy, you may wish to choose another one. Ask your unicorn to enhance the energy of the flames 100 fold. Merge with an, an ascension flame. Decide which ascension flame you wish to experience. Ground yourself and open yourself up. Call in the flame, feeling it come down over you until you are inside of it. Ask your uniform, your uniform, ask your unicorn to light it up. Sense the key codes in your aura being activated. Relax and breathe in the color and energy and then thank your unicorns. And then you can affirm which of the flames you chose to merge with. And again, those flames were the pink ascension flame of love, the emerald flame of healing, the golden flame of Christ light, the pale green flame of nature, the royal blue flame of higher communication, the aquamarine flame of healing, which heals your soul with love, compassion, and peace, the pale yellow flame of all possibilities, which draws opportunities to you and gives you the wisdom to handle them with grace, Serapis Bay's white ascension flame, which holds all the great knowledge of the golden age of Atlantis and can help you to access the talents you had at that time. When you draw this card, consider which of the ascension flames and then invoke it. So let's just breathe in those messages from Archangel Metatron, our inner child, the dragons, the unicorns. And before we depart, I'm going to share this very, very interesting card I got. Okay, so I got this deck called the 72 Angel Cards, Dreams, Signs, and Meditations. So this is not an Oracle deck. The, what this teaches you to do, I got the book and the cards. It teaches you how to work with the angelic energies of the 72 angels as they're in the Kabbalah. And so very, very, very interesting and very much in alignment with the work I do and the multidimensional nature of angels and the angels are not beings that look like things. They don't have a human shape, their energies and frequencies and how they are actually, angels are actually multidimensional gateways. And so, but interestingly, so in the car, in the deck, Amongst the 72 cards, it talks about the veil of consciousness. Okay, so the veil of consciousness. You're not going to be able to see it. I'm just showing you the card. And it talks about how the veil of that comes down on us, the amnesia. Remember, I, I mentioned the amnesia in the beginning of uh, this video. It talks about what that amnesia is made of. And it's made of many of the things that we talked about today. The veil of amnesia consists of our subconscious, memories preparing to go down the veil. These are the things that make up the veil so that we can come into our, our human form and forget that we are multidimensional energy beings. So the veil is made up of our subconscious, memory preparing to go down into the unconscious or to emerge, emerge into consciousness, personal unconsciousness, 
memory of our entire experience since the very beginning of life in the womb, family unconsciousness, memory of our ancestors' experience, ancestral knowledge, right? That's part of our the veil that prevents us, the amnesia that we all have. Part of it is made up of the family unconsciousness, ethnic unconsciousness, memory of the history of our race and all of the events it experienced, collective unconscious, memory of the history of humanity, archetypes, and biological unconsciousness, memory of the history of life since the very first amoeba. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. And so I just want to share, I, I, I thought that was just so powerful and I thought it was so interesting. And I wanted to share this to you just to kind of like, kind of encapsulate that the things that we're trying to work through are multi-layered uh, and a lot of it is outside of our conscious awareness. But we have the spiritual support. We have so much spiritual support. And if you, if you knew how much spiritual support you had, you'd be in awe. Because when I first, when I've come, when I came to this knowledge over the last, you know, fairly recently, like last, in the last couple of years, it's very humbling and you, it, it heals a lot of the wounds of loneliness, the ones, the wounds we may have of abandonment or feeling left behind or disregarded. We're not disregarded. We, we're not disregarded at all. I don't care what your family did or how they treated you. You're not disregarded. You are loved. You're loved by a vast, incomprehensible level of love and energy and different beings and frequencies. It's truly staggering. And I'm not saying that to be dramatic. It really, really is amazing. Um, so just know that and understand that the veil that we have of amnesia is made up of all of these things that I just mentioned. But Spirit is saying in this message, we have to become self-aware. We have to become conscious. And Spirit is calling on us to heal our personal unconsciousness and our family unconsciousness because it's time for us to step into the power and the truth of who we are. So this is a long one. I didn't know when I started making these videos, they'd be an hour, sometime an hour and a half. So if you made it this far, I'm extremely grateful. Please let me know what you think, what you feel. Um, how this touched you, how it reached you, just let me know your thoughts. I'd be, well, just thank you, okay? Um, if you'd like, I do do healing sessions. I do multidimensional healing sessions. That information will be linked below. Um, and a lot of things I talk about in these videos, they do come up in our healing sessions. Very powerful, it's, um, it's a very powerful thing. And you can read about that information on my website. Um, what else did I wanna say? I still am doing personal tarot readings, but I'm only doing recorded readings. So if you would like one of those, um, I'll put my email address below. And that's only recorded for questions or a general reading. So for energy purposes, that's the only way I'm doing tarot readings. But for the healing sessions, those will be done via Zoom. Okay. So thank you so much for, if you made it this far, I feel like this is a really great conversation. Thank you, Archangel Metatron. Thank you, all the guides, the angels, our ancestors who were present for this experience. My name is Sonia Ross. I'm a psychotherapist. I'm an intuitive messenger and an author. And it was my honor and pleasure to do this video for you and to serve in this way. Peace.